This game is not suitable for children or those who are really easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit. Da -na 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 -na. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agreed that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here, and welcome to a brand new game walkthrough on this channel. Now the game is not brand new, but it's a new walkthrough on this channel. And of course, I'm gonna play the anime novel that everyone played called Doki Doki Literature Club. Hunter played it, Luigi Kid played it, Speed played it, and many other YouTubers. So I was like, why not just give it a shot? I heard that it is scary. But I hope I'm not gonna get like easily scared with it like in EXE games. Okay, so now without further ado, let's start the new game. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after me like this, I must feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha ha, and there she is. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me? That's me, Yorkfield. Oh, excuse me. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want, I don't want them to think we're a couple of something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Yorkfield, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Aha! I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die as the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a car carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself rail into her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind and at least a little bit even if she does exaggerate exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. That's a great choice as a weebo. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. 
I look around and realize that I'm, not, I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes, I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, Mini! Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Literature club. Not that I was ever aware of that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought I would be fun. It would be fun to help start a new club, since she was the first one to so to show interest. After the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature club is guaranteed to ev even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom, classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance, glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, she's called a girl one for now. <laughs> Her name's not revealed yet. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Yorkfield, what a nice surprise. Wow, a lot of waifus, that's really nice. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Yeah, cute waifus. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Hmm, okay, so Natsuki is her. The girl with the sore attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she is probably a first year. She is also the one who makes cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in my club in the club. Okay, Yuri, wow, many Yuris. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping on with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Who the hell is Monica? That's right, Oh, okay, it's the main character I guess, because she's the first character I see in the game cover on Steam. It's great to see you again, Yorkfield. Again? You already know me, I guess? Monica seems sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Ah, okay, I understand now why. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Yeah, I agree, she's beautiful. She has long hair, just like Miku. Basically, completely out of my league. So... So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Yorkfield. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> 
then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged from to the form of a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been whitened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closets. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly makes back to the table, train hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I would say so kawaii instead. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayuri talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. W why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? What the f... Eh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, dummy. What? Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us, each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri just trying to impress you. Eh, th that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. Oh, I just noticed that she's sometimes playing with her hair. That's great, I guess. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least, I at least enjoy tea. Yep, I do enjoy tea, in real life, that's true. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ahaha, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing around the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages, encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile but it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! 
we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically, enthusiastically agrees. I've never heard of that word before. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Yorkfield, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? Yeah, I do read manga in real life as well. I love those. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking about seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up and eh, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, horror! That's a great thing in my opinion. Ah, I read a horror book once. I read a horror book once. I desperately grabbed something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Well, it's your choice, everyone. You can like or not like horror if you want. It's your own choice. I'm not gonna judge it. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? W what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. You look like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. I don't know if it's pronounced like that, sorry about that, if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori settles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Oh yes you are. Natsuki, you wrote your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing makes takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. What? Natsuki and Yuri qu look quizzically at Monica. Let's go home and write a poem of our own. 
Then next time we meet, we'll share all of them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, um... Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Yorkfield? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still a problem. Eh, what's that? Now, now that we are back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come wor forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I've never said I would join this club. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lo lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, Yorkfield, y you all, I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Yorkfield, I look forward to see how you can express yourself. <laughs> I like that pose for some reason. Y yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean their up their food. Hey, Yorkfield, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart to the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Okay, so now I remember all their names because they are simply really great waifus. I think they are popular waifus by the way on the internet. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make my most of the circum circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen if whoever likes your poem the most. Okay, can I save it? Yeah, I can save. Okay, so... I'm gonna stop here for today because it has been 26 minutes since I'm now recording. We'll be back in part 2. Don't worry. Will we do this uh, playthrough? part by part like I did for uh, other games so yeah we will be back in part 2 because I don't want this video to be extremely long longer than 30 minutes so I'm gonna close the game since I've saved it it's here so I'm just gonna quit and we'll be back later okay guys thank you so much for watching the part 1 of Doki Doki Literature Club we'll be back in part 2 or maybe in another video the next video will either be the part 2 of Doki Doki or another video. Who knows? It's a surprise. I don't even know yet. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care of you. Peace. Bye.